and how exciting to, to be here in, I mean, professional setting, professional lights. We're, we're, broad, we're streaming, sold out crowd. It's gotta be exciting for this young man. And I don't know what to expect because we haven't seen, it's, sometimes it's, it's just as exciting for us to watch them their first time around. We're experiencing them. And Well, I will tell you the thing about MVMMA that you know is they scrap. They want to make things ugly. They want to use wrestling to their advantage. They want to use dirty boxing. They like the clinch, you know? So that's really what I expect out of this young man. Mohamed Sebi, though, out of great gratitude wrestling where John Virouet, our former or current welterweight champion, I'm not sure if he moved on to the pros yet, uh, <coughs> he competes out of there, and that is an excellent school. So both these young men come from excellent pedigrees. You see Cat Daddy, Kyle Kaler there, former Cage Wars champion, getting ready to go pro. Kenny Correa, nice and calm, Coach Duff Holmes. Applying the grease. All right, Kenny Correa being checked by Big Dan. We see Al Morrow back there. Al Morrow coaching, getting ready as I talked about. And Morrow's getting ready to take that big leap to the pros. And we've seen uh, we've seen Al uh, in, in the cage, obviously, that awesome fight night that we did with Mike Tyson down at the plaza. And it must be uh, it, it must be exciting for this young fighter to have a guy like Al in his corner. And Al can Al can do an awful lot for a young for a young man in terms of just breeding confidence, right? Well, especially because Al cares. Yeah. Al really yeah. does care about his teammates. Yep. He wants to help make them better. You know, Al is one of those guys who's very selfless. Well, by the way, Kenny, Kenny Correa is not a sm he's a small guy. You said he's he's 19, 20 years old. He's uh, he's quite filled out for for a young man. He looks like all of these fighters do look to be just in really really good shape. Well, you know, the days of just getting in the cage and fighting are over. You know, I mean, you can't really do that anymore. In order to really compete and and, and stay competitive, you have to be prepared. Do you think your career could have or would have been different or would have, with all the, with what we know now about science and nutrition and diet and exercise and training, you ever think that would it be nice to go back 20 years and start over again? And You know, my I never had aspirations of doing anything. I was just always a martial artist. Yeah. Always a martial artist since I was 17 and just really wanted to challenge myself. I never had any aspirations beyond that. I mean, my aspirations were always college and my professional aspirations. I just love martial arts and I still do. That's why I still train you know, three, four days a week just to stay busy. I mean, I guess I'm technically a hobbyist these days, but once a martial artist, always a martial artist. What, what was it for you when you decided to take it from, you know, hobby to, to actual in the cage? Is it, is it because you it competitive? Challenge myself. Yep, yep. Challenge myself because what it takes these young men and women to go through a camp, sacrifice all the discipline, and then to make that walk down to a cage where another human being wants to hurt you. Yeah. It, you're doing something 99% of the public will never, never do. do. Never do. And you're showing yourself that you can do it. Right, and wouldn't even entertain the idea of doing it. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, moving on down the card for Cage Wars 54, we come to our 170-pound division scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 168 pounds. Representing grit and gratitude wrestling out of Springfield, Massachusetts, Mohammed Sebai. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday 169 pounds even. Representing Mohawk Valley Mixed Martial Arts out of New Hartford, New York, Manos de Piedras, Kenny Correa. Man in charge of the action when that door closes, Mr. Lyslo Juve. Kenny Correa really came to life right there. He was sure nice did. and calm, then all of a sudden like a firecracker. I like this fight. I think they're yes. going to come out banging. Both these guys are composed. I hear a lot of good things about Muhammad Sebi. What are those gangsters on Correa's shorts? I'll have to get a close. See, again, Correa, you know, they want to close the distance at MVMMA. Oh, they want to fight in that phone booth. They want to make it ugly. These guys are throwing some big punches. Sebi doing a good job using his footwork. Nobody wants to oh, be in here Oh, nice past punches one by round. both these young men. 
Ooh, and Correa. So if you notice, Sebi wants to work those angles. He wants to keep distance, and Correa wants to corner and close the distance. He's got to watch out with those open hands, though. That, a lot of eye pokes happen that way. You see how Sebi's left hand is open? He's reaching with it. Correa's a star. Oh, nice job. Really Triple job. lefts. That's a great job. While jab, hook, up. jab. Nice job. Now, what I will say, when he's throwing these Ooh. strikes, his oh. legs are getting very, very wide and long. Correa seems to like it. Oh, now, yeah. You know, All you these NBA wonder, May guys like to get dirty. Well, they, when, they, when they acknowledge that they like it, is that because they're just trying to dust off the stinger, or do they really with, like with it? With these guys, they like it. They really, they go in the room and they fight each other and they love that shit. You know, I can't disagree. He he doubled down with a big hearty smile after he took three there, more shots. I know what you're talking head. about. There are those guys or girls that will, you know, play it off. This yeah. guy, he likes it. He appears to. And he hasn't stopped smiling. And he's looking to land but, one. But big again, shot. Sebi doing a nice job timing his strikes, staying just out of range and then in range when he wants to deliver. You know, the question is going to be is can, can Kenny Correa corner him into the cage? and keep him there or Kenny, take him down. You know, for such a young guy, Kenny Nice is, job digging the underhook. Kenny looks like he's got heavy hands. Yes. Heavy hands. Again, at MV MMA, that they practice their boxing, their wrestling. I mean, I mean, they practice everything, but that's their bread and butter. Ooh. Ooh. My now, gosh. both these guys doing a good job trying to dig underhooks, find the control. But. Now, if you notice, Sebi's doing a nice job with that defensive footwork, but the judges are just seeing Correa chasing him and walking him down. Look at it. And then Correa says, all right, that's fine. You want you want to blast me off? Let's go. And he said, I'll meet you in the center of the cage. See, see how he's got those hands open like that? He's got to be careful. Oh, he's got that neck. Can he do something with it? Nope. Nope. Digs that underhook with the right hand. Correa's strong. Both he these guys is. showing a lot of skill, too. A lot of skill. High that's, level. that's what I mean. Zero zero is not zero zero oh, these days. This is high level. Nice job with that right underhook. Separate. Beautiful. Well done. Now, Sebi obviously wants to keep it at a distance, and Correa's got to be careful because he comes in sometimes a little bit fast and a little bit reckless. Well, and, and Sebi's waiting. He's this waiting is only patiently. the first round, so there's two more rounds. You know, is that going to start to wear on him as we as we go longer into the fight? Oh, well, he seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> I don't know. Five seconds left to go in a very entertaining round one, and he's already pretty bloodied up. He don't care. Nope. Honey Badger don't care. <laughs> Look at. Okay. All right. Here we go, looking at that replay. Both men had their moments, that's for sure. Sebi doing a good job using his footwork. Correa Ooh. trying to close it in. Sebi separates, throws those punches. Nice job. Correa coming right back, though. Unaffected. I would give the technical skill on the feet in that round to Sebi, but Correa's pressure was evident. I agree with that. I think for pressure, I, I think because of the amount of pressure, slight advantage Sebi, but I don't think this is going to go to the judge's scorecard anyway. You know, both these guys are so tough. I, I, know. I think he could. You never know. I mean, anything can happen in a fight. We know that. But, I mean, these guys are tough. They're durable. I'll they're skilled. I'll, I'll bet you a, uh, a muffin. I don't, uh, I don't muffin. like muffins, Brian. How about uh, a piece of pizza? A scone. Okay, a piece of pizza? Yeah. Scone? What am I, Larry David? I don't know. I can't get Villa Italia Bakery out of my head <laughs> right now. It's a fat kid. Meanwhile, you're right. There's pizza, Chinese, all this delicious Trying food. to give me a goddamn scone. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza. You're going to be trying to give me candy corn next. A pe <laughs> slice of pizza. It doesn't go to the cards. How's that? All right. All right, we're on. Sebi again using that footwork. Craze is big and strong. But again, you know, Sebi does a great job digging for those underhooks instantly. So that way there, you know, Correa can't change that level. He can't execute a takedown. He's doing a nice job keeping that distance, peppering him with some punches, and you can see that on Correa's face. You hear the corner saying, go again. They like what they're seeing. Duff Holmes tell him, push him into the cage. Right in front of us here, Brian. Oh, Sebi doing a nice job creating a separation. Really well done. Right to the underhook. Excellent, excellent wrestling takedown defense. You know, it's a tough fight to call because, I, you know, 
one of the fighters that we think is landing the bigger shots is the one who's got the bloodier face. All, I mean, although to Sebi's credit, th those are big. Those are the big shots of the no, fight I mean, right I, now. I, yeah, I think Sebi's got the better punch. I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. But again, are, what are the judges seeing? Are they going to put that much value in this pressure Ooh. and and negate some of the defensive tactics that Sebi's utilizing? That's where that gray area of control and aggression comes in because the defensive fighter wants to let you come to them. Well, it doesn't appear as though Correa is enjoying the punishment as much as he was in the first round. Well, no, he That's is. That's because it's he taking its toll. <laughs> Sebi got double underhooks here. Very powerful <laughs> position. <laughs> human. One minute to go in round number two. Correa trying to use that shoulder to create some separation. But at this point, he looks like he's just accepting the position. You yeah, see I, the look on his face. Yeah, I just don't really know. I feel like the energy's been zapped out of this fight, and I, I think it's Correa's or Sebi's. If I I'm think the referee, I'm going to tell them to work or separate them. Laszlo Juve is getting close. This style of fight's definitely not a fan favorite. Well, and, and, and it kind of just go, it goes against what these – it goes against what – the, the, the kind of energy that it appeared both men brought into the cage. Like, let's go. But Sebi's a smart guy. You can tell that. Mm -hmm. He knows when he's ahead, what he needs to do to win. So I guess you can't fault him there. It's just not necessarily a fan, uh, fan favorite. You know, there was no damage being done. He had both arms locked behind the back. Just kind of laying on him, controlling. And he's hit uh, he's hit Correa with a couple of big shots here. And now, that, that's what that's going to be. seconds. Correa needs, he needs those kinds of exchanges. He needs heated exchanges. For the entire third round, he's probably down two rounds to one at this point, or two rounds to nothing at this point, would you say? I, I I would think so. Probably? Yeah, I would think so. And by look on his face, I think he knows that. Let's see if we can get any, uh, any coaching over here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our third and final round. Kenny Correa definitely looking more worse for the wear out of the two. Sebi's looking over his coach's shoulder, trying to get a peek at his opponent. Mar Mervin Rodriguez, former pro fighter in the corner, giving him some advice. What would you be telling Correa right now if you were? I, I would corner. be telling him to work off his jab, try to engage in a half plumb, use some uppercuts. Um, and making an absolute dogfight. Get inside those hands, you know, outside the distance, and, and dirty box and fight. I mean, and win or lose, both these men have a lot to build on. And, I mean, you could just start with some of the basic fundamentals, the cardio, you know. Maybe he came out with too much energy, the pacing. There's so much that goes into it. This is the most dynamic sport on earth. It's from a, a physiological standpoint, it's amazing. Here and mental. Comes. I think See, Kenny Correa looking for that dirty boxing. He's got that sense of urgency. I, I love it. I think he's just got to, yeah, let his hands fly. Oh. Boy, he does hit hard coming back at him, though. That I mean, might have woke Sebi up. And by the way, it's easy for me to say let him fly. I mean, these guys are these guys are throwing <laughs> bombs, and Correa just keeps coming forward, taking the damage, taking it. Real tough guy. But now starting to punish, you know, starting to administer, administer some punishment here. And this is what he needs to do. He's got two minutes, and he's, I don't know if he needs a stoppage, but he's not out of this fight. I, I'd sure. like to see a double jab cross to a clinch, dirty Ooh. box, disengage, re-engage, dirty box. You know, I, I think that start you going to the You hear Duff calling for the double leg. There we go. Tell him to turn that corner, finish that takedown. Duff Holmes saying he needs a takedown. Yeah, so you hear what's happening in the corner. Do you think that's the right move at this point? Yeah, Duff is trying to secure the, the effective grappling for this round. You don't think that his path to victory right now is on the feet, landing big shots? I don't think he's hurt Sebi enough, That's really, fair. Uh, to really put him in danger at this point. And at this point, too, they want him to work on stuff, too, obviously, right? This isn't the be-all, end-all, right? This is the first of many. So Amateur I, I, I is about you. learning. Absolutely. Makes perfect sense. It's been a good fight. And again, you know, you can't take anything away from Kenny Correa. Yeah. His toughness, his durability, his determination. And he's blood, spat, blood splattered, and he hasn't stopped. 
We got coming up on that one minute mark. Correa knows at this point he probably needs a knockout. And, and he's willing to exchange and he's willing to take big punches as a result. Yeah, he's doing a great job pushing the pressure, but Sebi just doing a better job staying out of the way of danger. You hear Duff saying, to the legs, go to the legs. In other words, take him down. I don't think he can. I, I don't know that he can complete the takedown. I think he would just be wasting time just trying to tie his opponent. He'd end up just tying his opponent up. I agree, but I was just echoing what I heard out of his corner. Yeah. Well, listen to me. You know, I've got 40 years of <laughs> expertise. Not Less than at 30 all. seconds. It's an honor and a privilege to sit next to you and just call this action with you, Will. I really do appreciate it. Lazlo Juve separates the action. Here we go. Final 15. It's now or never for Correa. And he's shown tremendous heart. Both men. Kenny Correa, really tough guy. Yeah. He'll be back. Mohamed Sebi, just really good technique. You know, excellent yeah. awareness. And a good fight. Perception. Yeah, great fight. Neither of these young men have anything to feel. We got our blood about. splatter. Yeah, we got blood splatter. All right. Wow. Yeah, all right. I got it right here. Wow. That's a good one. That's what's up. All right. Well, that's another nice thing about sanctioning bodies. They get blood <laughs> tests now. Back in the day, there wasn't really blood tests. So there's nothing to worry about here? No. All right. Thankful to the USMCA for that one. <laughs> there must be, yeah. Is there, is there a decent amount? So what do you think? Well, we're going to the, uh, first of all, I owe you a slice of pepperoni pizza because we are going to the judges' scorecard. You know, I really, I, I think Sebi did enough all three rounds. I would agree with that. I, I would be surprised if it wasn't a unanimous decision, but it could be a split decision. Well, I thought the first round, yeah, I thought, I, I thought we saw a lot of energy out of Correa. You could possibly give him the first round, but I don't know that it really matters. I think there's a lot to build on here, though. I'm excited about the prospects here. There seems there's a lot to build on, you know, with quality gyms. It really is. I mean, these young men, when they're out of these novice rules, when they're three, four, five fights in their career, I mean, they're just going to be on another level. And I'm not sure how old Sebi is, but you were saying Correa is, is he's under. Young kid. 19, 20 years old, tops. Yep. Really right. nice kid, too. Really, yeah. really soft-spoken, really respectful. We got Mr. Laszlo Juve in there, waiting for the final announcement. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo. How about a round of applause for these two great fighters, ladies and gentlemen? And after three hard-fought rounds, a mixed martial arts action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges have scored the fight in favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Mohamed Sebai. Not surprising. Great sportsmanship shown by both gentlemen here tonight. Very competitive fight. Good action.